It is time for my second best-in-class weaponry guide for Title Update 6 as we wade through the sweeping changes that the Division 2 installed on October 15th. This second installment to the series will feature the rifle category as they are popular hybrids between the assault rifles and marksman rifle categories. Rifles feature critical hit damage as their native baked-in weapon talent in general have little to no recoil, are decent at all ranges of combat, and feature rates of fire that exceed those of marksman rifles. So let's get started. It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and now that Title Update 6 has gone live, I felt it a good idea to cover the rifle category so that agents will have a good foundation for what weaponry is best to look to loot and equip for their builds. Now, this ranking is based on the adjusted weapon damage ranges for Title Update 6 and takes into consideration the latest and most accurate information we have available. For each weapon, I will give you their Title Update 6 cyclic DPS ranking as well as my general impressions of each. For my comparisons, I have chosen to use damage figures with the weaponry, using no mods, including no extended magazines, as well as no weapon talents or any gear mods. In 13th place is the Winchester Model 1886 Lever Action Rifle, and to be clear, the 1886 can't compete with any of the other models in this DPS comparison due to its worst-in-class rate of fire of just 100 rounds per minute. But again, to be fair, the 1886 was never meant to be competitive in this area as it more than compensates for its low rate of fire with the second highest base damage of any weapon in the rifle category. TU-6 awarded the 1886 a 20% base weapon damage increase, bringing its already high base damage to incredible levels. In 12th is the exotic Diamondback model 1886, which besides the exotic weapon talents, features a base weapon damage model approximately 7.7% higher than that of the normal model 1886. As I said for the 1886, these lever action rifles were never going to be able to compete with the other box magazine weaponry in this comparison, but I've got to say that I really enjoyed using the Diamondback. It hits targets extremely hard, and in combination with its wild weapon talents, really gave me an interesting way to approach combat that forced me out of my normal playstyle. In 11th is the Desert Tech Microdynamic Rifle, that despite receiving a 16% base weapon damage increase for Title Update 6, can only muster an 11th place finish. The MDR is extremely easy to keep on target, as the recoil pattern is really light, and at 360 rounds per minute, it ranks mid-pack for RPM. Reload speeds are assault rifle fast at just 2.2 seconds, and it is interesting to know that the MDR features a headshot damage multiplier that is 20% higher than any other model in this comparison. With so many positives going for it, you would think that the MDR would have finished higher in this comparison but its moderate base weapon damage and less than best rate of fire hold it back. In 10th place is the USC 45 ACP, which by all accounts should be in the SMG category, but nonetheless makes an appearance in this comparison. The USC is essentially a UMP 45 with a conversion kit and locked into semi-auto fire mode only, but I've got to say, I kind of like it in this role. At 420 rounds per minute, the USC is tied for the highest rate of fire in this comparison and it features a 2 second reload speed as well. However, just because I enjoy using it doesn't mean that it is best in class and in this comparison, the USC manages only a 10th place finish due to its weak base weapon damage model. The SIG 716 slots in with a 9th place ranking due to it being the only rifle for Title Update 6 that received a base damage decrease, that being 7%. The SIG seems to have been given a full complement of average stats, including a rate of fire of 320 rounds per minute and a base damage range below average. 
Reload speeds are fast at just 2.1 seconds, but with its average stats and lowered base damage model, the SIG really can't hang with the higher ranked weapons in this comparison, and only bests the lowly USC by 1.4%. In eighth is the M1A CQB, or as you see them in the game, the SOCOM M1A. And yes, there are two different models of M1A in the rifle category. This variant of M1A received a 30% base weapon damage increase for Title Update 6. And with that, you would think that it would rank higher in this comparison, but it is held back by a rate of fire of 320 rounds per minute and a reload speed of 2.5 seconds. Now, a special side note to all agents looking to equip an M1A is that it will not allow for the use of a 20 round extended magazine. And the largest magazine you will be able to equip will only grant you five additional rounds. The M16A2 places seventh in this comparison, and overall, it is a difficult weapon to place as it is the only burst fire rifle in the game. The M16A2 received a huge 68% base weapon damage increase for TU6, and even with that, it can't compete with the higher ranked models for DPS. The M16 is actually quite accurate, and I found it easy to use at medium range, but even when connecting with all three rounds in the burst, it still doesn't inflict enough damage. For comparison, the M16 is behind the 6th place rifle by 10%, doesn't allow for the use of an underbarrel attachment, and really doesn't reward all the trigger pulls with enough damage inflicted on target. Placing in 6th is the other exotic rifle in this comparison, the Merciless. And for Title Update 6, this weapon received no damage increase, but it did receive a rate of fire increase from 260 to 400 rounds per minute. As with all exotic weapons, they do not allow for the use of attachments, so you were locked into the standard magazine this weapon requires. Reload speeds come in at an average 2.2 seconds, but with the Merciless, it isn't about all those best-in-class stats. It relies on its rate of fire to make up for all of its other shortfalls. But even so, it falls behind the 5th place weapon in this ranking by 4.5%. Starting off the top 5 is the lightweight M4, which received an 11% base damage increase for Title Update 6, and I've got to say this weapon feels good to use, but not overly impressive in terms of damage landed on target. Reload speeds clock in at 2.1 seconds, and since this weapon fires a 5.56 round, you can equip and use the 20 round extended magazine. The rate of fire of 360 rounds per minute is decent, but not best, and that's how I would characterize this weapon. Decent, but not the best. Just for reference, the M4 lost out on 4th place in this comparison by less than 1%. One of my personal favorites from the original Division game, the LVOAC slots in with a 4th place finish thanks to a 12% base weapon damage increase for Title Update 6. In fact, the Lightweight M4 in 5th place and the LVOAC are literally the same stat for stat for Title Update 6, with the LVOAC pulling just slightly ahead with its 1% more base weapon damage increase for TU6 over that of the 5th place M4. Perhaps in a future update, these two weapons can receive some more characteristics to better separate them. For comparison, the LVOAC missed third place by just 0.8%. The second variant of the M1A, the classic model, comes in in third place in this rankings thanks to a 39% base weapon damage increase for Title Update 6. And of all the weaponry in this comparison, I did not like using the classic M1A as it really feels slow and clunky. It fires at just 180 rounds per minute, has an above average 2.5 second reload time, only allows for an extended magazine of plus 5 rounds, does not allow for the use of an underbarrel attachment, and features a higher recoil pattern than most weaponry in this comparison. Still, it hits hard enough to vault into third place for cyclic DPS, just besting the LVOAC and missing second place by 4.2%. 
The Scar H, also known as the Mark 17, ranks second in this comparison with a great mix of stats and a 17% base weapon damage increase for TU6. The Mark 17 has long been my favorite rifle, thanks to its light recoil pattern, best in class 1.9 second reload times, and allows for the use of the 20 round extended magazine, although it begins with a 20, not 30 round base mag. Although the Mark 17 only has an RPM of 275 rounds per minute, it really mixes all the popular stats that agents want into an easy to use package that hits hard. Surprisingly, the ACRSS shoots into first place in this comparison for Title Update 6 thanks in part to a 19% base damage increase. Although not as easy to keep on target as the Mark 17, the ACR SS surpasses it due to its best-in-class RPM of 420 rounds per minute. This model of ACR allows for a full complement of mods, including the 20-round extended magazine, and it does start with a 30-round base mag. I feel that the rate of fire is to blame for it not being easy to keep on target, as you can quickly pull the trigger and not allow the weapon to settle before your next pull. Still, the math is undeniable, and the ACR SS is the new king of rifles for TU6, besting the Mark 17 by 1.4%. As always, I look forward to reading your thoughts about my best-in-class rifle comparison in the comments section below. What is your favorite rifle in the Division 2, and why? If you could take the time to rate the video with a huge thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want even more Lieutenant Buzz light beer and my continued coverage of the Division 2 in your lives, make sure to pound that sub button and configure and save to receive all notifications from my YouTube channel. You can also find me on Twitch with varied gaming streams and look for me on Twitter for all my latest thoughts concerning most things gaming related. I have just added a Buzz merchandise store to my YouTube channel and you can find a link to that site either in the video description or just below your viewing window and make sure to check out my latest edition, the Dark Side Edition of Merchandise. Until my next video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.